Okay, might be playing um Plazilla three minute match. First to three. Uh I think he's got a very good record on ICC. I wonder if I'll get unrated. He wouldn't mind. Oh, I'll just leave it rated. Oh, I'll just lose lots of rating points as well at the same time. No no optimism. Yeah, optimism. Okay. Uh, so he's eighteen oh five days low rated on Chess cube, as far as chess cube is concerned. Um, okay. Um, solid. Don't know why I've chosen this. Sort of chosen. I think it favoured sometimes quieter openings. Uh, have I got an influence from Petrosian? That's not a question. Uh, so if I get a knight to d5, I'll be playing this and playing this too quick maybe. I can take on f6 and the knight you free to d5. Actually, I'll just Make this ball a bit bigger for you guys. Pulling on live stream. So if I take I'm trying to weaken d5. So he's about FIDE 2200. So I mean he's got a fantastic record against me uh, on ICC. Uh, <clears throat> free nil apparently. Oh so c4 knight c6. So just what about Knight h4, wretched double pawns. Would that help at all? I wouldn't imagine that would help. Um, so I don't know. What about queen b5? Does that do anything? A bit stuck here. I could just exchange off and hope for d5 to be. Actually, there's bishop b3 coming up. Like here. What about queen d5? Can I evict that? There's queen d1 here, especially f1. No, there's, there's not. Knights on e3, okay. Um, okay, so knights. Okay, can I just make a5 trying to fracture the pawns a little bit? Should I be trying to weaken. Uh, okay. Um, I'm going to take that double pawns. That looks interesting. Now take or play a6. Maybe, maybe a6 is worth playing. Mood takes and then b6 will be weak. Maybe b6 is weaker. I'm going to take with bishop f1 now. This one's bishop f3. Alright, can I get these guys off? I've still got pressure on b6 at the end of all this. This is a very high quality game, isn't it? Ah, a bit of a contrast. Knight, maybe knight c4. Can I get a small advantage with knight c4, finally? After these many years of playing this game. <laughs> right, queen e8, I'm finally winning a pawn. Could this be my first ever victory over for the. If I can win this pawn. Uh, ah, okay. So if I play check, and right here is looking good. So knight d6 is looking. Oh dear, back in the game. Uh, protecting f7. Can I can I win on time? <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear. Uh oh. Um F three just I've just blundered the piece, well done. Just blundered the piece. Well done. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> just thinking about the E pawn. <laughs> oh. 
Actually, G4, maybe check Queen H4 to pick up a pawn. Has, has he cracked up after that move? Maybe um, the shock of it. Uh, I don't know. Knight E3, King F2. He's only got 30 seconds. I don't know. What's he doing with that? I thought he was going to play um, 20 seconds. Ooh. There might be hope for me here. Yet. If I can just win on time. It's naughty, but I don't know. Is he going to take an F3? He's going to win this in 10 seconds. 15, 14. <coughs> Okay, go okay, back to this. Cool, these these seconds are taking a long time. I threaten e5. What about here? Threaten e5 check. It's a bit harmless. Three seconds. It looks as though it's going to be a time win. Sorry. <clears throat> I was doing all right then, and I just blundered an entire night. Okay, this system bishop e7. Yeah, he's definitely crushed me on ICC on five minutes. And this system where I sacked two knights, I think, one game. It wasn't the greatest. But here, I don't know, a6 and g5 is one of my pets. So this isn't mainline Tarash. Oh, he's confused about this position. I love this position. A6 rules out bishop b5s and takes and knight d4s. So, okay, maybe b5. I think Nack has played it with b5, bishop b7, just uh, pressure on the center. Well, I seem to have a clock advantage in this match. It's three minutes, it's pretty um, fast time control. George Parkin is putting the question marks. Yeah, maybe it is a bit slow for White to be like a minute, 40 seconds behind here. Okay, so I've got a time advantage, but is my position crumbling? If I play Rook G, I lose H7. So if I play H6, any major weaknesses of that? Play A5 first, there's Bishop B5, so keep hold of B4 these guys oh I don't like the position now okay, so knight c5 Ooh. just sack a pawn but knight d3 queen b6 or knight, knight queen queen b6 it might be a5 and queen a7 it might be knight e4 on the cards Knight e4 might be useful for the bishop. If I castle here, am I going to get murdered? Probably. Uh, I guess. So what about keeping the king in the center for a moment? So I'm going to queen a7 or queen c7. Queen c4, king up. Okay, king's in the center. Queen C4 here. Oh, it's going for my king or something. Um, okay, what do I do here? I don't know. Bishop takes B4. Might be possible because C8 is protected. Knight E6. Is looking dangerous. I don't know, there's dangerous threats. Bound. Again, he might be in a bit of time trouble if I can survive this position. 
Bishop b4, queen b4, rook c8, bishop c8, rook c1. Oh dear. Bishop e6 is coming in. What about bishop c3 here and queen d4? Is it going to be knight e6? Queen Okay, so I feel like I play rook c7. Is that bad? Probably bishop e6. It's probably quite bad. So, am I getting mated here? Uh, what else can I do? King g7. Try and as knight f5. So if I take the knight e6, and I assume that's really dangerous. But I, I don't know, I think it gets rid of attacking pieces, so I'm going to play king e7, I think. I hope he plays um, knight c7. So queen c7, I'll, I'll still have a position to speak of, I hope. There's knight f5 coming up. I'll try and get rid of that as a threat. Okay, what about knight c3 now? Is the queen d6? Probably. Uh oh. Probably getting mated. Queen d6. No, then I wanted to play knight e2 or queen d4. Twenty four seconds. Um is he gonna make on d eight if I don't protect properly? I can munch the king on e6. There's a knight e2 check coming up. Okay, hold on a sec. There's queen f4 of king h2. Let's check here. I'm losing the rook. There's e6 just winning the rook. Oh, okay. It's good to stick with three minutes against this guy. <laughs> I think that would have been two nil otherwise. Okay, so my one of my other little pet systems. So if I play knight g3 here, just put the bishop on c4. The weakened light squares. This diagonal. E5 here. So E3 and Bishop. Ooh, D4 is being hooked in from various horrible knights. Uh oh. Okay. This is not looking too pleasant as usual. So knight g5, knight fg5 here. And and okay. What about bishop c3? Oh my god, that d4 square. Also, the queen f2 in the same vein, guarding d4 and e3. Maybe knight h4 is actually viable. Or g4, just get rid of this pesky knight. Uh oh, is this diagonal now for the bishop? Huge. There's queen c6 coming in. So queen g3 or queen h4. Maybe queen queen h4, queen c6, queen h8, king d7. Okay. What about knight f7 and f5? Knight f7 and f5 plays queen c6 anyway. Uh, knight f7 and f5, queen c6 is e4. Uh,
So queen c6, rook e4, king f7, f5. Ready with f5. Counter attack, I hope. Oh! No f5. No comment. Oh! It's got rook e4 now. Can I get away with that? King f7, f5, rook e4. No, he hasn't done that. What about bishop e6? Holding on to some bits. Bishop e6. Is he going to take here? Right. Can I take on h3 to get put the bishop on g2? Or do I move the knight first? Knight d6. Move the knight first. Probably an idea to play knight g5, not knight d6. Where's the rook moving anyway? Rook g6. Knight h8. <laughs> uh oh. Okay, bishop h3 is a threat now, surely. Okay, if I take. I'm not getting mated just yet, am I? There isn't bishop c5 check. That's knight d6. Right, there is bishop c5, so knight d6 to stop bishop c5. Okay. No panic. What about bishop g2 next? Bishop g2. Pawn's not going anywhere. d2. Bishop g2. Not takes d1 check. So d2, bishop g2. Time trouble. Yeah. I believe he might be in time trouble. E5 is looking good anyway. For queen c6, get the queens off. Let's check. I wouldn't have minded the queens off. Go back here. Okay, so queen c6. Whoa! whoa, whoa. Mated. Okay, good games. Thanks very much.